I know you're curious about Dan Mullen's role in all of this, but we're going to get there in just a minute. Sit tight. Well, tonight we're here with KingCast.net, and I want to bring your attention to the fact that you just can't get away from Kelly Ayotte, and you just can't get away from the McLean Graff firm when you're dealing with a lawsuit, a free press lawsuit against Kelly Ayotte. And the uh, online journalist David Ridley has been researching some of this with me, and we're seeing that, uh, as it turns out, you've got a number of forces coming to bear against the independent press. You've got AI herself and, and her posse, and you know they like to run and hide from me when I come around. And, and then you've got uh, the McLean Law Firm and all of their connectedness with the judge, which we'll get into. judge in my case, Judge Longia Boyer McCafferty, has a long and substantial relationship with the attorneys at uh, McLean Graff. Now, I'm not so sure that I'm going to ask for her recusal, but what I am going to ask for is a full disclosure. Um, the McLean attorney should have told me this, you know, um, Jack Middleton, you know, been practicing law since 1956, 10 years before I was born, should have told me. Uh, Jennifer Parent should have told me. Jennifer used to work with Kelly Ayotte. Kelly used to work for the same firm. Of course, Her Honor worked for uh, McLean Graff about a year before Kelly was there, so it's a little too tight not to disclose that. That brings me over to Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen, as you can see, was Kelly Ayotte's water boy in the Planned Parenthood case that they really lost, and Kelly tried to proclaim victory, but yet they had to cut $250,000 checks to Planned Parenthood's attorneys. I'm the only journalist to host those online that I know of. Well, anyway, Dan Mullen, uh, there he is looking kind of dour. Uh, Dan actually lied to the Supreme Court and said that I was disbarred, and he said that I said all kinds of negative things about one of his clients that I didn't say. Well, anyway, that's going on, and the interesting thing about that, now Dan works for Ransmeyer and Spellman, not McLean, but the interesting thing about all that is that Her Honor was also a director of the disciplinary arm of the New Hampshire Supreme Court. So it's all a very tight circle in New Hampshire. Let's just see where it all ends up.